Hey everybody, Jeff Argent here. <coughs> well, we're now on to episode 19 for Flint the Time Detective. Let's dive on in and see when and where we wind up today. Back from prehistoric times, here's Flint! Hoomba, hoomba, hoomba. Hoomba, hoomba, hoomba. Hoom daga, him daga, hoom daga, him daga. Humba, humba, humba. Humba, humba, humba. Crossing the time barrier to save the world. Humdaga, himdaga, humdaga, himdaga. Defending justice for time and space. Let's be time detective. Humdaga. Moa. Moa? Moada! Time to play hide and seek. Is everybody no. ready? Yeah. Now, make sure I can't see ya. Moana, <laughs> Noah, Moa. I'm gonna count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Sorry, team, the game's over. We've got a new assignment. Aww. The time shifter called Moa has been located on Easter Island in the 16th century. He looks like one of the huh. Moai. What is that? Does the Moai taste good? <sighs> the Moai are huge stone statues carved from hardened volcanic ash. Their origins are a mystery even to the time police. Some of them weigh over 80 tons. No one huh. knows who made them or what their purpose was. And they are considered one of history's greatest unsolved riddles. Hmm. Well, I'm good at riddles. We know, but this is a different kind of riddle. Go and retrieve Moa. Here's your time card. Plus, hey, after this episode, after this episode right. aired, it was then discovered that the that the Moai. Shush. The Moai. The Moai were discovered to be more than just the heads. They actually had full bodies. So. Coordinates are being set for 1560 on the island of Rapa Nui. That's what Easter Island is called by the people who live there. Lynn? Yeah? Bring me back an egg or something. Right. All, right. All right, time cycle, take us to Rapa Nui. The coordinates are programmed. Here we go, guys. Let's go find that time shift. <laughs> And no one's still and no one's still been able to figure out why they carve such ginormous statues. Approaching coordinates. Revered ancestors or guardians or something. That's the island. Golly, look how small it is. But it sure is pretty. Hmm. We're here. What do you guys think we should do first? Why don't we all go for a swim? No, not yet. First, we have to find Moa. He must be somewhere around here. Something smells good. Of course. Oh, no! Lynn's hungry again! I know there's food around here somewhere. I can smell it, and whatever it is, it smells delicious. Look at long sweet potatoes. Oh, uh, I wouldn't do that. Oh, oh nuts. That's some. <clears throat> the ocean breeze smells salty. Oh my goodness! What was that? <laughs> you dumbass! Is your name Moa? That's me. Great. Those were our sweet potatoes you ate. You stole them. Now you answer to our guardian. To Moa. Hold on a minute. Oh boy. Yeah, we can explain. We didn't Told eat the potatoes. Does that mean what I think it means, Flint? Yeah, he ate them. Mm -hmm. He didn't mm -hmm. know any better. Mm -hmm. Get along. How about some help here? Get along. Deus ex machina. 
Welcome, friends. My boy, I think you owe these people an apology. Mm-hmm. Sorry I ate your potatoes. Okay. Boy, Mo is quite the farmer. Look at him go! I've never seen a time shifter work so hard before. Yeah, but he must do something besides plant potatoes. Moa protects the whole island. Don't just stand there, son. Go help Moa. Good idea. Those sweet potatoes of yours were delicious. I'm gonna plant a zillion of them. That's the spirit, son. Come on, little brother. Let's lend a hand. It's a beautiful day on a tropical island, and she wants me to plant potatoes? Not much fun to me. <laughs> Thank you so much for all your help. Now we'll grow more potatoes than ever. Great, I'm getting hungry just thinking about them. Don't get your hopes up, they take months to grow. <laughs> hey down there, hurry up, will you? Because I'm really hungry. <laughs> uh oh. Well, isn't that nice? The time detectives have just found Moa for us. Oh. Uh. Don't get too attached to that block-headed time shifter. Moa is coming with me. Now we're going anywhere with you, you big me. I have something to say about it. I'm too hungry to keep going. I'm running on empty. Uh, of course. How dare you try to order me around, you little primitive? The only one in the universe who can tell me what to do is the man I love. Oh, for the love of... Adrofina, my love, I know you will not fail me. That you will bring me the time shifter, Moa. What in the? And here he is, my darling. He is all yours. Well done, my lovely Petrofina. Anything for you, my love. And oh. I for you. Oh, how happy we will be! Ah, Fantasy oh, Island. <laughs> She's a permanent resident. Oh, are you mad at me? Well, you won't be for long. My Petrostat will take care of that. <laughs> Hey, Moa fell down. He tripped on that stick. I'm afraid you'll have to do better than that. It's Merla. Ordinarily, I wouldn't intervene on such short notice, but I can't resist rescuing a beautiful young lady. A beautiful young lady. Not oh, you. See, see, boys, now there's a guy who knows how to talk to a girl. You think he was talking about you? Think again, boss. He was talking about that cutie over there. Ha! <laughs> Sarah, my dear. I love adventure as much as you do, but a lovely young lady such as yourself mustn't do anything too risky. Huh? I'm a lovely young lady? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he was talking about me. Oh, oh I can do that's enough! <laughs> you want to be romantic, do it on your own time! Not mine! Dino! Why is oh. the Stat missile? You got it! Petrostat missile? Oh! oh. oh. Oh, hot! Oh. What did you do to Moa? Moa, you're not hurt, are you? Hello! Wow, he's really huge! Get rid of those troublemakers, Moa! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Moa, we're your friends! Stop that! I don't What's think it's Moa. He's got... He's gone from Moa to Krakatoa. Get along. Do you think your love beam will work on Moa Khan? <laughs> He's too powerful, but I'll try. <laughs> Sarah, what's the matter with Get Along? She's scared because she's never made her beam that big before. Huh? Keep strong now. <laughs> you can do it. I know you can. Hey, don't worry. I'll protect you even if he gets everyone else. Mm, not a good approach. Listen, you. No, I not a good approach. Who's lovely now? Gonna get swatted. Come on, you stonehead! Smash that thing to pieces. Yeah. Hey. Get a launch beam. Why don't we get huh. The Deus Ex Machina did it. Deus Ex Machina. <laughs> Meanwhile, we still got Krakatoa.
magic do it? I'm not so sure. I think we got a problem here. <laughs> oh boy. Oh crud. Oh boy. Dude. Okay. Incredible. <laughs> For a second there, I thought it was a Petra stamp. I thought it was the Petra stamp missile again. I was like, she's got a Petra stamp flint? Is that a thing? Actually, uh, uh, can she do that? Do anything right. Sorry, boss. Sorry? You think you're sorry now? Just wait till I get um, the was working perfectly and you blew it as usual. Oh, so why does that little primitive always have to win? Flint, I'll get you for this. Do you hear me, Flint? I'll be back. <laughs> Um, we got a problem here, guys. We still got that to deal with. Oh, sod. Um, that's a volcano behind him, and well, earthquakes like trigger Please, volcanoes. Lava's unstoppable. If metal keeps this up, the entire island will disappear into the sea and Flint and his friends along with it. Boy, it sure got hot all of a sudden. You know, you're right. I wonder why. Cue the volcano. We're toast! Don't think so. Volcanoes tend to be more under the area of Act of God, which is not insurance covered. Small children! I told you I was going to protect you, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. But those children are helpless. We can't leave them now. This girl is just a big headache. Uh. See? Oh. <laughs> hey, that law was headed right for us. We gotta go. He's right, kids. But we have nowhere to go. We don't want to go anywhere. Oh. This is our home. Hey, they're your friends. You're supposed to be their guardian. <laughs> Digging a channel to redirect the lava flow into the ocean. That'll work. Leave it to me. Just gotta make the channel deep enough, though. So otherwise, it'll just some of it will flow off, the rest of it. It'll never finish it in time. Don't worry, guys. I contacted Doctor Goodman and he sent us some help. Most of you'll be here any second. Ah. Yep. Told you. Oh, oh, oh. Merlock, Merlock, are you alright? Sure, 
I'll be just fine in a minute, Sarah. Just fine. <laughs> See, she's nothing but trouble. What's with those two anyway? There's no time to think about that now. Remember Flint? He's in big trouble. Gee, I forgot all about him. Flint, <laughs> where are you? <laughs> He's under Boa's butt. This is some adventure, huh? And the best part's doing it together. Right, son. You're the greatest dad anyone could ever have. And you're the finest son a father could ever hope Focus. for. Focus! My lucky dad. Likewise, son. Flint! He's trapped down there. We've got to help him, but how? <laughs> wow! Rapanui count on you to protect them. <coughs> Not hurt them. You're supposed to be their guardian. They all love you, Moa, and you love them too. Don't you remember how much you loved working in the fields here and playing with all the kids? They were your friends. <laughs> Uh, meanwhile... Sarah, do you feel something? Yeah, the earth's shaking. <sighs> Another side effect of earthquakes. We have got to get everyone off the beach. Let's go. Time to say goodbye. Explanation for why the East Shore Island statues exist. They did it! The Guardian saved us from the tidal wave! But where'd they come from? I mean, who made them and who put them there in the first place? Good question! Look! Moa's changing back to normal again! He's got the heart of a warrior. He never gives up. You might even say he's a hero. <laughs> You're my hero, Murloc. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. And when the volcano erupted, it caused a tidal wave. That's when we found out that the islanders were right. Moa really was the guardian of Rapa Nui. But what we haven't been able to figure out is where all those other guardians came from. Well, scientists think that the people who used to live there made them. There's no way to know because almost all of the islanders disappeared hundreds of years ago. You ready? Now everyone, hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to count. Yeah. Come looking for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> How'd you find me? That really isn't fair, Flynn. Yeah. Moa's so big, there's no place for him to hide. If you want to play with him, you gotta find another game. Wait a second. Why don't you kids play outside? That should be fun for everyone. I like to jump. <laughs> oh boy, this looks like fun. <laughs> yeah, no. <sighs> We're gonna need a bigger rope. <laughs> so that was Moa. 
the uh, yeah the Easter house the East Easter house the Ron place <laughs> the Easter Island statues uh, one of the Earth's biggest mysteries slowly unraveling it but we're never going to be really sure about it and so unless someone actually invents time travel and goes back in time and asks them hey why'd you make these things who knows uh, we certainly won't for a while but it is interesting looking back on episodes like this with these kind of mysteries with the information we have today that we didn't have back then it is interesting just to, to take a look at this stuff hmm. anyway Jeff Archfiend out